right, Shalom, um, call Halal, Yahweh, Bashi, Yosha, Double Honesty, Apostles of Great Millstone, and salutations to you brothers that's pushing the word in sincerity and the truth. Um, got a video, uh, I want to go in on the word um, sovereignty, you know, so I want to just uh, bring out the definition of it. Um, so I'm in uh, AdamOnline.com, Adam, Adam and the word sovereignty is a noun, it means preeminence from Anglo French, sovereign. Reignity, just roughly paraphrasing. It says meaning authority, rule, supremacy of power or rank. Um, okay, so authority, rule, supremacy of power or rank. Now, I want to get the first scripture. The first scripture we bring out is uh, what is this? Wisdom of Solomon. You can start at Wisdom of Solomon 6 and 1 and read down the. Uh, Maybe about five. We'll just read yeah, six and one. Yeah, wisdom of Solomon six. Yep. All right. Uh, this is uh, the book of uh, wisdom of Solomon. Okay. You said uh, six and one. Yeah, right? yeah. Six and one. The point is in three. We down to about five. Oh, it's a lot here. It's a lot here. Uh, the wisdom of Solomon uh, 6 verse 1 it says hear therefore O ye kings and understand learn ye that be judges of the of the ends of the earth now this, this is King Solomon he was sitting in a, a position of authority you know and he's speaking to all the kings of the earth you know whatever nation they be you know go ahead mainly speaking to the kings that will come after him but go ahead uh, give ear, ye that rule the people, and glory in the multitude of nations. For power is given you of the Lord, and sovereignty from the highest, who shall try your works and search out your counsels. Yeah, so the power that the rulers have come, coming from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh, coming from the Heavenly Father, you know? And the scriptures say, um, the Most High, will try your works and search out your counsels, you know? And we know that in this time that we're living in now, that the rulers of the earth, they have secret counsel, you know, against the Lord's anointed, which are the children of Israel. Go ahead. It says, because being ministers of his kingdom, ye have not just a right. Yeah, so being ministers of his kingdom, what does the word minister mean? The word means to serve. Now. The, the, the rulers of the uh, earth are supposed to serve the Lord, you know. But we know that the so-called white man, he's he's not about serving the Heavenly Father. He's about serving himself, you know. But if you in a rulership position, you're supposed to uh, uh, maintain and um, maintain the order of the earth, you know. Now, the so-called white man has completely, in his rulership, he has destroyed the earth, you know. Okay. Read that again, verse 4. It says, because being ministers of his kingdom... Ye have not judged aright, nor kept the law, nor walked after the counsel of Yahweh by some Yahweh Shah. Yeah, so now, you know, just moving backwards, the kings before, um, the kings after King Solomon, when you read the, uh, the, the history, the accounts of the history, they was going off. They wasn't, when they had dominion over the children of Israel, they didn't judge the Israelites, they didn't judge the Lord's people aright, you know? But, um, that's why it says, uh, nor kept the law, nor walked after the counsel of the Heavenly Father. Now, when the so-called white man, he took on, he, he called himself the Israelites. He called himself uh, the children of the Most High. You know, so in him calling himself the children of the Heavenly Father, he was supposed to keep the, uh, uh, the, the, the laws, the, the commandments, uh, the scriptures. And that's where he went, that's where he went wrong. So he's going to be judged according to the scriptures, you know, verse 5. Verse 5, uh, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 6, verse 5. It says, Horribly and speedily shall he come upon you, for a sharp judgment shall be to them that be in high places. And that's what's getting ready to happen when all uh, when martial law, when, when Esau finally decides to attack Iran through, via Israel, horribly and speedily, that's when Yahweh Bashim al is going to come upon him. You know? And the scriptures say, For a sharp judgment shall be to those that be on high. So, you know, your Rothschilds, because they're really the kings of the earth right now. They're in the rulership uh, seat. If somebody could give me um, Job 9 and 24. 
real quick. But they're in the rulership seat right now. You know, they're calling the shots. They have uh, the, the central banks in place to administer the chip, you know, to uh, push forth their new world order. So the scriptures say, horribly and speedily shall he come upon you, um, for sharp judgment shall be upon them that be in high places. You know, and really when we come out week in and week out and we speak on the highways and hedges, we're really speaking to the elites. We're really speaking to the rulers. You know, we're sending them the message that, look, the most high is get ready to take you down. You know, once you make your move, you, you get ready to uh, push your, your agenda, your new world order agenda, then that's when the Lord is going to come upon you quickly and speedily. You know? You got that? Uh, uh, Job, you said 9 and 24? Yeah, 9 and 24. <clears throat> Job 9 and 24, it says, The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Yeah, so the earth, the, the authority, um, the, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. The Most High gave you the sovereignty to rule over the earth, you know, to fulfill this prophecy. The earth is given into the hand because the Most High put, put the earth in your hand, you know. And, and he, um, he, he gave it to you to uh, administer what you deem, what you want to do until the Lord judge, judges you. You want to speak real quick? Yeah, because you know the so-called white man doesn't. Uh, you know, uh, they say that they uh, believe in the Bible, but they don't uh, keep not one law, statute, or commandment that's in the Bible. You know, uh, we're currently being ruled over by the lowest people on this planet. You know, the scripture says that the uh, first shall be uh, last. You know, and the last shall be first. Okay. And it's spiritual because we had to get that the uh the understanding, you know what I'm saying, of the lowest people not following the scriptures, you know, so that you know we can be more uh like like the Lord, you know, because we went off, you know what I'm saying, and, and the Lord is showing us by us going off how he feels, you know. Yeah, we're supposed to be in the um the rulership uh seat. We're supposed to actually uh the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, we're supposed to have sovereignty. You know, over uh, over these nations, you know, we're supposed to have the uh, uh, the, the complete authority, the rule, the supremacy, uh, the power, the rank over all of these other nations, you know, and that's the righteous order of the heavenly Father, you know, and uh, the Lord uh, gave a covenant to uh, the seed of Abraham, you know, and that went down to the uh, to the I Isaac, to the uh, Jacob, to the twelve tribes of the nation of Israel, you know. Um, I have a quick scripture. Mm -hmm. um, Isaiah 10 and uh, 5. O Assyrian, the rod of mine anger and the staff in their hand is my, my indignation. You know, when you go into uh, like like rulers back in the day, you know, one, one of the things that they had was uh, staffs, you know, to signify that they was in power, you know. Um, it says, I will send him against the hypocritical nation and against the people of my wrath will I give him a charge to take the spoil and to take the prey and to tread down, I mean tread them down like the mire of the street. Yeah, that, that shows that the heavenly power, I mean, the heavenly, the heavenly power, the heavenly father, you know, uh, is gonna give Esau or the, the Assyrian and Esau the power to uh, implement his martial law you know, to come against uh, the two-thirds of the nation of Israel, you know, to bring forth atrocities that he's going to commit on them in the midst of this third world's war, when all uh, hell breaks loose in America, you know. Uh, uh, you, had, you had the uh, scripture that you... Uh, I was looking for uh, the scripture that says, show favor unto the wicked. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's what that's what I was just looking for. Too. Yeah. I was just, this in uh, Isaiah. Yeah, yeah, I think, it, I think it's Isaiah 24. I'm not sure. But, uh, so you say show favor unto the wicked because the most 26. 26 and 10. 26 and 10. Okay, because yeah, because the, yeah, the most high gave the so called white man faith. He gave him the whole earth, man. The so called white man been in, rule, been in rule for damn near over 400 years, man. You know? Yep, yeah. yeah, uh Isaiah 26 and 10. That favor be sold to the wicked 
Yet will he not learn up, I mean, righteousness. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let favor be shown to the wicked. So he has the favor in the earth. He has all the nations following him, man. You know? But the scriptures say, uh, yet he will not learn righteousness. He won't keep the laws. He won't keep the laws, the uh, statutes, the commandments. He won't keep the land Sabbath. You know, he, he he's mixing seeds, you know, genetically modified seeds. <laughs> you know, he's selling the other nations weapons so they can kill each other. Kill yeah. <laughs> yep, yep. Cause yeah, cause those nation, those those uh weapons going over there to the Middle East, they're gonna be used to uh, kill American soldiers, man. Them, them same Arabs you selling those weapons to, they are gonna get into the hands of those Arabs, and them Arabs they are gonna turn on the so-called white man. Once his military gets caught out over there, once Israel attacks Iran, man. You know them Arabs. We believe through the spirit that them Arabs. Them Sunnis, them Shiites, they gonna come together and they gonna be looking to kill Edomites, man. You know? Read that again. Uh, Isaiah 26 and 10. Let favor be sold to the wicked, yet will he not learn righteousness. In the land of uprightness will he deal unjustly and will not behold the majesty of the Lord. Yeah. Yep. yep. Now, um, let me, uh, Bring out that uh, scripture that we was talking about in the book of Romans that Esau likes to use. I got you. Mm -hmm. This is uh, Romans 13 and 1. It says, let every soul be subject. It says, let every soul be subject unto the higher power. For there is no power but the most high. The powers that be ordained. Uh, it says, the powers that be ordained are ordained of the most high yeah so back in the uh the, in the ancient times the powers that be that were ordained of the heavenly father were the roman the roman empire man because the most high set up the roman empire empire so if you were an israelite right you were supposed to you know you're supposed to uh, uh follow the laws of the roman empire you know and not go up against the roman empire you know but uh you, you got these edomites uh adolf hitler used this uh scripture you know, he would say, uh, you got to be subject. And he, the so-called white man used the scripture that says you got to be subject to uh, uh, to us, you know? Yeah, that was one of the scriptures in that time, of course. Mm-hmm. Come on, come on. Now, um, I got the scripture. Uh, it's the book of uh, Bell. It's in the Apocrypha, Bell, the story of Bell and the dragon. 1 verse 5, it says, uh, I'm going to start at 4, I think. It says, it says, and the king worshipped it and went daily to adore it. It's talking about um, that uh, uh, Bell, Bell. And it said, but Daniel worshipped his own power, which was Yahweh. And the king said unto him, why dost not thou worship Bell? And he said, this is what Daniel answered. It says, who answered and said, because I may not worship idols made with hands, but the living God, which his name is Yahweh, who, cre who have created heaven, and the earth and have sovereignty which means he has power over all flesh all right and it says um it says then said the king unto him thinkest thou not that Baal is a living god seest thou not how much he eateth and drinketh every night but you know if you read into this story you'll know why Baal was eating and drinking every night but the heavenly father that the, the children of Israel that we worship you know, that we're out there on the highways and hedges, you know, teaching this word. He has sovereignty over all flesh. Even the kings of the earth that he put in the power to rule over them. That's why he's going to take them down. You know, that's why, you know, the men of the Lord are supposed to uh, wait uh, patiently on the Heavenly Father. Because ultimately, it's the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah that's going to bring this devil down, you know. I got a scripture for you. Mm -hmm. uh, Daniel uh, 4, verse 17. Mm -hmm. This matter is by the decree of the watchers and the demand by the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living may know that the Most High rules in the kingdom of men and gives it to whomsoever he will and sets up over it the basis of men. Yeah, so the Lord is the one that gave this devil his power, man. You know, and it was for a reason that he did it, you know. 
So, when we, you know, when we complain about the, 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 uh, the so-called white man, we got to remember that it's the, the most high that gave him his power, his dominion. The only reason why he has this technology and all of this stuff that he boasts it, he boasted is because Jehovah Bashin al Shah have given it unto him mm -hmm. so that he can so that the Most High can manifest his power by taking him out horribly and speedily. And you know, when we get these Rothschilds, when we finally get to see what the Heavenly Father do to these Rothschilds, because they're not gonna die in the missiles when the missiles are shot on America. But when we see how low that the Most High uh brought these devils, man. Uh, uh, the, the heaven, the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahushua is going to be shown worthy to be praised, because like Daniel said, he's the living power, man. You know. So uh, with that, we're going to give all praise to Yahweh Bashim Yahushua and double honesty, apostles of Great Millstone, and salutations to you brothers that's pushing the word in sincerity and faith. Until next time, Shalom. Shalom.